Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm back to Bollywood, a sweet poison, and it's damaging India Hindu Academy. So this is, I chose this one because I was like, Bollywood is sweet poison. What do you mean? I mean, I get like, uh, and I want to I see kind of how is, how does it compare to, say, Hollywood in terms of how Hollywood's affecting America as well, to see if, again, it's like we're having similar issues, which is very strange because you have a, a Western culture versus an Eastern culture. Uh, I mean, both deal in spirituality in some sense. You have the Abrahamic ones, then you have the Hindu ones, which is very vast, whereas America is very Christian, and then I believe maybe have some Catholic, and then modern day now you have a whole bunch of other uh, religions as well. But it's just, just to see how, uh, what does it mean? Because, I, I, you know, I don't really pay attention to Hollywood too much other than just the movies. Even then, not even too much of that <laughs> either. But um, I, I just hear things over there and in California and stuff. So anyway, let's go to this, give this video a shot. Extent is Bollywood changing people in, in India's views on Hinduism? Yes. You see, <clears throat> this is a wonderful question because Bollywood's like we all like colorful imagery, choreographed dances, music. We are, we, I'm, I'm attracted to music. I love music, and I love this colorful scene imagery. That's wonderful. We all understand the role and relevance of this kind of wonderful thing that attracts human mind. Now you see, media has got three roles. You might be interested to know this. It is supposed to educate, hopefully, because now if you do anything, you, you can do a course, a degree course, on the, using the media on the computer. So it can educate, it can inform, it can tell you what's happening in the world now. They could discover something new to fight cancer, whatever. Instantly the information goes around the world. It can educate, it can inform, but the third aspect of media is it can entertain. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with entertainment. Art. We all like, you know, some kind of, if you like, release from this burden of daily life. It's very heavy, very hard. We need a release. We need human beings. We like to see other human beings jump up and down, dance and get, you know, fall in love and all that. Nothing wrong with any of that. Provided it is kept in, under check. When the media is overly kind of compensating by just entertaining and ignoring the other aspect, educating and informing, <clears throat> then you see it has overwhelmed the system. And how does it overwhelm? Human aspirations are only for lower things, which are more animalistic. Hmm. Is that beautiful girl? Oh, <laughs> Venus, we start drooling. <coughs> so human beings are automatically drawn to the lower aspects of our being, our animal nature. So media will catch on to that because this is where they get the money, they get the advertisement if they do all these Bollywood stories and Bollywood films and, and uh, all the serial soap operas. So they can draw money, they can get advertisement. That's why all these serials are very popular in India and in, in, the, in the UK too. Because they talk about human, you know, human issues, wallowing in sentimentality. We all love that wallowing in sentimentality. You know, they cry and they laugh and they cry and they laugh and mostly crying in the soap operas. <laughs> We like following, this is a lower way of understanding the human condition. So, in a way, it can be overwhelm the system. And this is what's happened in modern India. I like entertainment. I'm not here to vilify entertainment. It must be kept under check. You switch most of the Indian channels now, nothing but half-naked girls dancing about and wiggling their bottoms. Half time, oh, just switch. It's frightening. That means you are really turning into a quivering animal. <laughs> You see, the higher aspirations lost, the animal aspirations encouraged. That is why, that is what Bollywood is all about. And that is why I'm not vilifying, I'm saying fine, there may be some beautiful stuff in, in, in the media, in, in Bollywood too, but keep it under check. When it overwhelms the system, it destroys the moral fabric of that nation. You see, promiscuity, no problem. All these kind of, kind of ideas which are sometimes on the borderline of turning us from the human to the animal, are encouraged because this is the lower aspiration of humanity. It's easy to plug it in. So it has to be kept under check. We understand the role of entertainment provided it is kept under control. And in India, in the Bollywood phenomena, we have lost it. At the moment, see that this is what I mean by overwhelming the system. The Bollywood phenomena is, is a sweet poison given to a nation that is unaware that it is poison but sweetened. Okay, interesting. So, inter I mean, I'm I'm not necessarily disagreeing, but what what like art is art, you know, art takes many forms. Not all not all of us agree what is good or bad art. <clears throat>
the Mona Lisa, I guess a very famous art, I suppose. Is it good art? Is it bad art? I mean, it's it's a it looks fine. <laughs> I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world, but it's very famous for I don't know why reason. <laughs> um, and then you have like you know music art. You have art on the body. You have just art everywhere essentially. And then to say that we need to put a restriction on it, that's kind of it's kind of crazy because then who's going to be the judge of that? Who's going to determine what is okay and what isn't? That's the kind of the a little bit of the issue. And the only thing I can think of that we sh uh, I don't necessarily think we should put like we need to have a panel that says. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, you failed that one. Sorry, I can't put you on there. This one, yep, yep, yep. Okay, you're good. Yep, nope, nope. You failed two out of three. I can't put you on there. You know, I don't know if we should have a panel for that to say what is or isn't okay. Obviously, there's going to be certain things that we have to put restrictions on, kind of like, obviously, nudity or sexuality. You know, you can't just pop that out in public. That's something that's been universally accepted. But, but I think... The responsibility falls on the people in the culture itself. So instead of making, say, laws or, or, um, or what do I say, a panel that decree whether something's good or it can't be played or something, we we take it upon ourselves to say, you know, you shouldn't be watching this, not until you're older, or we shouldn't be watching this because it's not it's not good behavior. Or a good thing to watch it has a bad influence or we can say you know this is art we can enjoy it for what it is but understand this is not how we should act <laughs> that would be the best way I believe you know understanding these are people expressions but these are not the, not the way that we are meant to act upon act so that way art can still be free there isn't some hidden panel that decrees whether something's good or bad and with that with 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 some kind of power like that you could end up getting favoritism corruption and all that because someone has power and power corrupts whereas if we take it a power to our own selves we can only ever corrupt ourselves hopefully you don't get corrupted <laughs> by your own power over yourself <laughs> but yes uh, just and that's the same thing in, in, in America as well. I think I think it also goes to the sheer fact of how easy life is. And I'm wondering, let me know if this is something very similar over there where when you see a very, how to say, developed area, do, do the problems change? Kind of like, uh, how to say, in Hollywood, I can't hold on. I can't remember. There's, there was an issue that happened recently, but anyways, but just like really things that are not really problems become very big problems because these are the only problems they have. Like you know, not getting their drink exactly five minutes after they place an order, or not getting six ice cubes, but instead they have five, so they're crying about it so bad because it's five ice cubes instead of six. It's like the worst thing that ever happened to them in their entire life because literally that is the worst thing that ever happened to them in their entire life because that is, they have an easy life. There's no real threats, they're not, well, I won't say threats, but there's no real hardships that are put in place. Their parents are suckers for their kids, so they just say yes to everything and there's no hardship. Anytime there's a problem, they give it to them or they try to fix it for them instead of letting them understand that they can't have it their way all the time. Hollywood... I've I've heard on YouTube that it's uh it's a cesspool. <laughs> so I don't know is that something that Bollywood is, is going into as well? I don't again I have not seen anything Bollywood. Uh, the dances are always been amazing. Um now I'm much like I'm sure a lot of places even Hollywood has some good things to it obviously. But there's going to be some bad things to it as well. So anyways, let me know in the comments below. If you like my content, please consider subscribing, thumbs up, thumbs down down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.